<coughs> All right, Shalom. It's brother from Jima. So finally came back from another video. Before we go any further, involve praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Kodash, Dabar, the Apostles and Elders, Great Millstone, we're teaching us more percent truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Today's title, the title of today's lesson is going to be something along the lines of trembling at his presence. Now, who is that talking about? The he. Uh, trembling at his presence is talking about Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the presence of the Lord is here today with us through this word, through these scriptures, and the men that Yahweh Bashima Shai have set up to present these words unto you. This is Jeremiah five and twenty. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, you know, and that's what we are ultimately doing when we make these epistles. We are po we are publishing the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, uh, 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 so it may be known abroad. You see, declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, saying, "Hear now this." And that's what we tell our people to listen up, to come gather around, to hear what the word of the Lord may be. You see, and not only hear but to uh, take heed to what is being said, you know. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. And that's the two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America. You see Jake out there, you see the video, you beep the horn, but you ultimately don't, understand the severity to this the seriousness you know how some how this uh how important how uh much how urgently you should be moving when you hear this warning you see hear now this O oh foolish people and what makes you foolish is that you don't fear yahweh you don't have the wisdom knowledge understanding of the truth Okay, if you did have such understanding, you will uh, uh, conduct yourself in a manner which uh, reflects you fearing the Lord. You see, it says, Hear now this, O foolish people, and, under and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. So will you not tremble? Will ye not tremble at my presence? So will you not fear the Lord? And this is a question. Do you not fear Yahweh Shema Shai? You see the omnipotent being, you know, of the universe. You see how the Lord is the only power that He has. Uh, uh, uh He has authority over your, uh, your, uh, whether you live or whether you die. You see. It says, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord, will you not tremble at my presence? Now the presence of the Lord is the men bringing out these scriptures. You see, them coming on the scene and bringing out the scriptures of Yahweh by Shema Shah, his word. Did not the scriptures talk about how when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of. So if, if we... You know, the name of the Lord being Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are bringing out his word. You know, the Lord is in the midst. You see, he's in the midst by us bringing out his word. So what? In terms, you are at you are in the presence of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai when we're out there on the highways and byways. The definition of trim, tremble is a verb, meaning it's an action. It's a shake involuntarily typically as a result of anxiety so you should be very afraid when Yahweh by Shema Shai sends you know his men out there on the streets on the highways and byways to present this word on to you
because the prophets they prophesy a message of war evil and the pestilence to for to come you see and before war evil and pestilence come upon the land the lord will send his prophets to tell you these things were coming you see first samuel 6 first samuel chapter 16 verse 4 and samuel did that which the lord spake and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming. And said, comest thou peacefully? You see, so the elders of the town. Men who, you know, had a form of reverence. For Yahweh Bashim Shai understood. That when Samuel came on the scene. He came. He came in the scene as the stead of Yahweh of, of Bashim al Shai, you see, as his messenger. First Samuel 9 and 9, before time in Israel, when the man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer, for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. So to inquire of the Most High, you had to go to the prophets in Samuel was a prophet you see a priest of Yahweh Shai. and when he came on the scene the elders of the town he was a well known uh well or uh, he was a renowned man of Yahweh Shai. he was well known in the land for being a man of the Lord first Samuel 16 and 4 and Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peacefully? So when the elders of the town, when they seen Samuel come on the scene, they trembled at his presence. You see, they didn't mock. They didn't laugh and scorn. You know, if they were slunched over, you know, they stood up straight and they feared that he had come on to them because the prophets of the, the Lord, once again, uh, preached a prophet of loom and doom for that city that the Lord set them against. Jeremiah 5 and 22. Fear you not me, saith the Lord, will you not tremble at my presence, which have set, which have placed the bound for the, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet they can yet can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. So the Lord is flexing his power here. You know, he's giving the example of why you should fear the Lord. You know, he's basically, you know, Telling you of his power that he has, you know, and that's what we're doing to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai week in and week out. And by way of these videos, we're telling you that the Lord is about to use his left hand, his sword, you see, his axe, according to, I believe, Isaiah, the 10th chapter. You know, and he's about to wield it, you know, to judge you Israelites. Psalms, was it 14 and 17 or 17 and 14 around those two chapters, you brothers can read how the scriptures talk about how the Lord, uh, the wicked, being the Edomites, is the sword of Yahweh Shema Shai, the sword of the Heavenly Father. You see, he's about to use that, you know, and various other things, you know, more pestilence and diseases, uh, 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 a great famine is going to come. In the land, you see, and this is the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which are going to bring these things upon the earth. Joel 2 and 1 blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. You see, there goes that word for you to tremble again, you see. Trembling at the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, that is going to cause you to move to repentance. You see, fearing the Lord, and we're telling you that the day of the Lord, you know, is not a day to be desired. If you 
are committing acts of wickedness, you see. Verse 23, Jeremiah 5 and 23, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They have revolted and gone, meaning they have the ideal in their mind that their way is better, you see. And they're willing to fight against Yahweh Shema Shai by fighting against his men, you know, setting up their platforms as them being the prophets of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, uh, uh, reporting videos, disliking the videos, coming up to the camps and trying to confound the men of the Lord. That is how they are fighting against the Lord. Verse 24, neither say they in their heart, meaning their mind, let us now fear the Lord our power that giveth rain, both the former and latter, in his season. He revert, he reserved unto us the appointed weeks of harvest. See, the Lord does many things, you know, us to help out, you know, the nation of Israel. You know, he feeds them. But yet Jake doesn't consider these things in their heart or how good the Lord has been unto them. You see, so ultimately the Lord is going to judge them, you know, all because they don't want to tremble at the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, but Lord's willing to bless them with that fine with all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakako Dash, the bonds the apostle, and it was a great millstone, we're teaching us one percent truth, according to the bottom rule well, and peace and blessings to the full elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.